Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we move multiple clips along the timeline all in one go. We're gonna have a look at a couple of different ways in which we can select those clips, and then we're gonna have a look at how we can move them to either a different spot in the timeline or to a different layer in the timeline in a few different ways. Now, this is an answer to a question someone posted on my YouTube channel, and if this is something you're interested in watching, uh, then hit the subscribe button and the notifications button, and please do leave your questions uh, below, and uh, hopefully I'll get around to answering them at some point, um, but I'll give you a shout out when I do. And without further ado, we're gonna dive into the tutorial and have a look at how we move multiple clips on the timeline um, in a few different ways. So we'll begin here by going to Window Workspaces and then just reset the default workspace so that we know we're all looking at the same thing. So I've laid out a series of uh, different clips on the timeline here and we're going to have a look at how we can move multiple clips around on the timeline. So moving individual clips around is relatively easy. We can select a clip and drag it and the magnetic timeline will kind of do a lot of the work for us and um, to keep things snapped into place. When we wanted to move multiple clips, and um, there's a few shortcuts that are useful to know and a few different ways of selecting clips that are useful to know. So the first thing is, how do we select different clips? So the easiest way um, is to just click somewhere in the gray area here, and we can drag a marquee around multiple clips. So if we've got a title here, for instance, that we don't wanna copy or move, then we would select below those clips and we can select in that way. We can also select one clip and hold down shift and select a clip and it will select all the clips that are kind of connected together along the main storyline. So again, if we click this first clip and select it, then we can select all those clips. Now, when we want to select connected clips as well, um, we can drag around the marquee around those selected clips and that will allow us to select those clips um, if we hold down the command key, we can be really specific about the clips that we want to select. So you can see here I'm selecting clips that aren't necessarily even next to one another on the timeline. So we can use the marquee to draw around areas or to draw around clips. And we can then also use shortcuts like shift and command to select clips that are next to one another or to select clips that are in different spots on the timeline. So if we take a basic copy and paste and I select clips that aren't next to one another, so I'm gonna copy these clips, come to the end of my timeline and hit Command V to paste them in. You can see that the, the gaps are left in place there. So basically when I'm pasting things in, I still get those slugs uh, between my clips. So that's one way of moving those clips and kind of duplicating them to another spot. If I don't wanna keep the gaps, I just wanna move those clips to a different location, I can hold down the Alt key and drag and it will duplicate those clips, but it will actually just drop them all next to one another at the end of the timeline here. So I'm gonna undo that. So Alt is also a really useful way of duplicating clips. So if I take, for instance, this stack of layers that I've got here, you can see when I drag around it, it's selecting not just the clip, but it's also selecting the storyline or the connected storyline as well, rather than the clip inside it. So if I hold down the Alt key with those selected, it's actually gonna move those to a different spot on the timeline, all those clips that I had selected there. So basically we can use a, a mixture of those different tools, copy and paste or Alt to, to kind of duplicate clips on the timeline. Now, if I wanna take multiple clips and lift them up above the main timeline, I'm going to select this clip and this clip, and this could be two clips or 10 clips. We're going to copy those. And then if I come along in my timeline, if I just do command V and paste in there, it's actually going to insert them into my main storyline. I may not necessarily want to do that. So if I hold down the alt key and tap V, it's going to paste them as a connected storyline. So now you can see I've got those two clips connected to my main storyline. Now, if I modify these here, and this is kind of moving on to the editing side of things, you can see as I trim clips, they're gonna move apart from one another. So as you put clips up above your main storyline, you may want to keep them selected and then do Command and G to group them together. And now that means if I trim those clips on the connected storyline, it's gonna keep them together. It's not gonna kind of create any unwanted gaps as I'm working. So now to move this whole chunk of clips, I've got two clips here and it could be more. So let's actually just duplicate another clip 
up into here. So I've got three clips up in this spot now. If I select an individual clip, it's going to move that clip out of my connected storyline. If I want to move all these clips together, I just click on the gray area above here and that allows me to treat that as one clip as I'm moving it around. So if I hold down the Alt key and click here, and I can duplicate that to another spot. This is really useful if we just delete one of these. If we have um, different titles, so sometimes I'll set up a series of titles. So for instance, I've got uh, these two titles. So I've got the shop and surfboards, and I may want to stretch this out. I'm just gonna slow down this clip a little bit. So I've got a bit more time to play with. So I've got two connected titles and one in a storyline. So all I've done is selected that clip and done Command and G. And you'll notice this storyline pop up as well if you ever apply transitions to clips. So if I do Command and T to apply the default transition, then I basically now get a transition as that clip pops up. So I'm gonna trim the duration of the transition down. So what I might want to do is have one title pop up and then maybe I have a couple of titles that are going to appear on underneath that. So for this I might use the range selection tool to just select an area in the middle there and then if I press delete it's going to close the gap between those two clips. So if I hold down shift and tap delete it's going to leave a slug there so it's actually going to leave a little gap which is handy if I want to select that and hold down command and tap T now I'm going to get a little fade to black and the next title which is the same so we'll just quickly change that so now you can see we've got our main title pop up and then surfboards fade out and rental so by splitting that clip up and keeping it in a group or a connected storyline, we can kind of move those multiple clips together as well as all the multiple transitions. That's another way in which we can move multiple clips around. So now if I want to move these two clips around, perhaps I want to add a title um, over here as well, but I want to keep that kind of same format. We'll add a transition to this too. So I just highlighted this first layer and added a transition there too, so we get a fade throughout that. So we've moved multiple clips around but we can also move multiple connected storylines around. So if I select both of these I can copy them. So I can go to edit copy and edit paste and that will paste them as a connected clip. So it's pasting them because they're already above the main storyline. Um, I don't need to do Alt and V I can do Command and V and it will paste them up there or I can hold down the Alt key and drag these across to here as well and that will duplicate both those clips. Something weird has happened here with my layering. So basically we can use those different variations of selecting and copying and pasting things to kind of move things to different spots in the timeline. Now I'm just going to delete these two connected storylines. If I want to move this clip across to here, you can see it's going to move that title um, with it as well. Now if I want to move this clip without the title or move multiple clips without the title, hold down shift and select those, I can hold down the tilde key, which is useful in a lot of different instances. And now if I drag those two clips back, you can see my titles remain at the beginning of my edit sequence but my clips have moved so basically the tilde key is just to the left of one on the keyboard we can drag that back and now you can see basically we've got those clips moved but not the first clips now the other thing as well is if I select this first layer or let's select a couple of clips here I'm going to move this one back here doesn't really matter what they say. But basically I've got uh, these two clips. I'm going to hide the retiming here. Just Command and R will hide your retiming. I'm going to select these two clips. If I cut them 
and paste them. Because I didn't have the titles selected, it's actually deleted them. So we've lost those titles um, in that move. So if I want to move these titles as well, I need to select all of those layers and then do Command X and Command V to select and copy everything. Now lastly, there's a couple of shortcuts we can use when we're actually moving multiple clips around as well. So if I highlight my connected layer here, if I use the greater than or less than symbol on the keyboard, I can actually nudge my clip left and right or my connected storyline left and right, which is really handy if we want to just kind of refine the precise positioning of something on our timeline. If I select a couple of clips on my main storyline and use the same keys, then we do a slide edit, which basically moves those clips uh, left and right. If I move these clips ahead here, then you can see I actually bump into the title so it doesn't allow me to move any further. And also it won't let me move any further if I reach the media limit of clips either side of that. If I select clips that aren't next to one another, I can move those as well. So I can move multiple clips at the same time um, using those tools. So let's select these two clips. If I hold down shift and tap, it's gonna move those clips by 10 frame increments. So I can nudge those clips into position by 10 frame in increments. And that's basically doing a slide edit on your timeline. So again, if we select multiple layers, of our timeline, we can do the same thing and nudge those into a different position. So that's an overview of different ways in which we can move multiple clips around the timeline. I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, about the tutorials I've been creating, or any of the tutorial reviews that I've been doing, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.